Kim is the election commissioner in Herkimer County, and she is oh, on, on the line man. after our comments. Um, so it'll be earlier than next week that we get the results, Kim. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? <laughs> I always, Better than I Jeff. Blowing, when we take these... blowing up my phone. <laughs> yeah, when we take these shots, I always forget we're on the radio sometimes. Well, I didn't forget, and I, I'll stand by what I said. <laughs> oh. the, the out... The, the, and Kim, I don't know if this was on you, and I'm sure technology has a lot to do with it. I made a joke that I was counting with my fingers because I don't know how it's done out there. The results coming in from Herkimer County have been, every year... The slowest in the state, <clears throat> in, in many cases, when the statewide, they are the last to report in some cases. So what are you guys doing and where are you now, Kim? Good morning. Good morning. Nice to speak with you this morning. So if I can clear up the misconception a little bit, please. Okay, uh, you have every right. You're, you're, you have the mic. You have the floor. Thank you very much. So Herkimer County has a very long, narrow county. Our election districts and polling sites are spread very far across the county. And because of that, we've had to be really creative about how we get our election results to the county board. Um, Some of our sites don't even have cell service. Okay, That is a problem. It's a really, it's a big problem because they can't text us the results. They can't call in the results. Um, We have to physically get those results. But last year for the general election, we were ranked third in the state for final results. Mm. Now, all of our all of our results come in at once. okay? and they get loaded on our machine and then the results are published and they're all done and out and we're we're done for the night. That is true. Right. That was a great feat. The state board. um sent us an email, congratulations, okay? So we've worked really hard to try and get those out quicker because, of course, everyone wants them. Sure. Now, our, our friends over in Oneida County um, have much larger districts, but they have centralized results. So their results go from the poll site to um, a, mod, a modular unit. So they get partial results throughout the night. So they might have, you know, uh, 15 election districts reporting, and they do like that at a time. Maybe 15. I don't know what their exact figures are. Right. You can you can you you can watch uh, the Oneida Counties is very similar to the state's uh, website. So you can you can watch the results. Still have you know 20 percent in or or 23 of 40 districts are reporting in or something like that. Um, And what you're saying is when yours come in, it's 100 percent. It's complete. It's done. Which we hate, Correct. by the way, in the well, media. <laughs> let me say this. So <laughs> let me, I'm for just our saying. District, that's what works the best for us. Yes. Okay. okay. And then, then they're complete. They, the candidates know, the parties know, everybody knows at that point who won. And last year, I think we were final, finished by, like, I don't know, six after 10. Okay. Which I, is I amazing mean, yeah. when the repulse close at nine. That is pretty good. You're absolutely right. And and it is Thank a you. it Thank is you. a it is a real problem. Um, actually, Patrick Vincent, one of the candidates that uh, that goes through that county for the assembly in Mark Butler's uh, assembly district, was talking yesterday about right. how difficult it is traveling the uh, the one hundred and eighteenth because half the time he doesn't have cell service, and as you get up north, there is, and that's really what Brindisi's been complaining about that supposedly. Somebody was supposed to be correcting um, to improve on cell coverage and uh, high-speed Internet coverage, especially in the North Country where there's nothing up there. Correct. And I live up that way, so I know firsthand how terrible it is. Yeah. How, what do you use? Um, what, what do you use for Internet? Um, Newport Telephone Company is our only option. Oh, okay. All right. And so the speed is about like 600 megabytes a minute, yeah. which is... Very, slow. very slow. Yeah, that's and slow. It would even be too slow to the results to us. Got it. So, all right. So you have a system. So uh, we must step down and apologize for 
for uh, taking a <laughs> shot at you guys. I am. Manansky's well, standing strong, though. He's no, standing. I just. He's I, not backing down. I stand by what I said earlier, but but I did not know Kim that you were recognized by the state for uh, yeah. for what you did last time. So I stand corrected on that. Also, I was unaware of the cell and internet issues that you have, so that does certainly explain yeah. uh, why there is a delay. And sometimes. the tail is between the legs, Kim. It is, it's, oh, that's not true. Way. I'm going to be here till you know twelve thirty this morning, uh, waiting on results. I <laughs> yeah, think. Yeah. Prove well, me wrong. I hope I'm wrong, Kim. Please prove me wrong. I hope so too. I, it's just such a crazy primary today yeah. that we're hoping that, that they get all the results right. You know, in Herkimer County, we have eleven different ballots today. Wow, think about that. It's um, and I and I think all counties across the state are are stuck with that. Uh, it's it's, you know, whether and whether it's a, a Democratic uh, primary or it's a Republican primary. In some cases, you guys, I think in Her- in Herkimer County, you have a conservative primary too, right? Yes, we do. Yep. All we right. also have a new thing that's kind of come out. It's called an opportunity to ballot. Mm. So. Do you know what that is? I, I, this is uh, the uh, Jim Zeka specialty yeah. opportunity to ballot. Explain, uh, explain, <laughs> oh explain if you could, Kim. We're just we're just kind of learning about all of this too. But basically, what happens is that the party reserves the right to name their candidate. So you you um, go to the poll and you vote and do a write-in name. So okay? is it? So it's, yeah. It's crazy. So you okay, could go to the so, polls and you could you could write a name in, and then what would happen? Then when we do our recanvass, which happens after every election, we have to manually count all the write-in votes. Okay, that's the that's the same in every county in the in the um, state. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And we also have a reform party <clears throat> primary. A statewide reform party. Yeah. Yep, and what the reform that. party rules are is that if you're a member of the reform party or not uh, and not affiliated with any other major political party, such as looking Democrat, conservative, you are entitled to vote in the reform party primary. Wow. So if it- you're a blank or an other. So at some of our polling sites, we have four different ballots and four different polling books of people who can vote on those ballots. Yeah, and trying it's to figure out and trying election. to and, and, and meanwhile you're doing a reform party uh, a reform party primary where how many people will end yeah. up voting, right? When when it's all said and done, you're going to have such small numbers, but you had to put all the effort into Correct. it just like you did for the Democrats and the Republicans. So, all right. Absolutely. Uh, uh, we uh, uh Kim, uh, okay. nice job. We appreciate it. Kim Tranter is the Republican commissioner at the uh, Board of Elections in Herkimer County, and she was slighted this morning. And, uh, and I'm glad to hear you heard from people who encouraged you to call in because you right. set the record straight. I, I'm, I'm glad Thank of that. And, and, and just across the board, all these BOE commissioners and all the volunteers work very hard. I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm not yeah. saying that they don't. They do. All right, Kim, thank yes, you. Thank it's you. Great, great talking right. to you. Thank, thank you. you so much, you guys. Get out and vote. Get out and we vote will. today. Noon till 9 p.m., thank Kim. You. Thanks so much. Uh, got a break. Hold on. We're coming right back here. And... Uh, Listen, I, I knew when I said it, we were going to hear from somebody. And it, I thought it was about the trees and the mulch. I, I'd rather that's hear from Kim about. than from some legislator that's going to be like, I can't believe you said that. And in this case, this is personal for her.